Welcome back to another edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series, and today we are taking a look at the Detroit Pistons, or how I like to say it, the Detroit Pistons. And they actually changed their logo, fun fact, but now we're taking a look at the Pistons. They had a pretty disappointing season. There were rumors about them trading for Paul George, but in terms of players, Andre Drummond, he's one of those guys that's overrated as a defender in this game, because he just... I watched some tape on him. I've watched some tape. I've watched some more Pistons game, and I oof. <laughs> oh man, this is this is not. That's not Andre Drummond right there. I mean, <laughs> he is not that good defensively. He has not played that well on that end of the floor. Now he's only 23. All right. I'm not saying you should give up on Andre Drummond because this guy knows how to grab boards and I certainly think if he does find some motivation to actually try as a player on that end of the floor then he will be an awesome player to have because like last year he had a stretch where he had double doubles in all games it took him like 20 games like he he has the he has the skills like I know he has the skills to be a good defensive and rebounding type of center but there are just some problems it's free throw shooting is a big problem for him and also like he's just not he just needs to try more like i just if he actually plays and so first first i was kind of like you know why are people hating on Andre Drummond, you know, all this and that, he's a, he's a baller, but then I saw some Pistons games, and I'm like, okay, I see where people, what people are talking about now, so, yeah, I mean, he's an athletic center, he's built, he's an athletic center, 6'11", 279, but he really just needs to try on that end of the floor, so now Tobias Harris is actually one of the more underrated players, extremely efficient 16 points per game and he's very efficient from the floor from the field not very good from three I wonder how what they okay they don't even show it but Tobias Harris is a solid player he's 24 years old they just have a young team Contavious Cobble Pope he's a really solid player I think he's a pretty good D and three type of player that's I think that's where his ceiling would be a good D and three type of player but my biggest issue with the piston with the Pistons right now or I no, what my issue with him is he's gonna be overpaid and the Pistons are gonna have to mac and match the contract because they can't afford to lose a valuable 24 year old on your roster and then Reggie Jackson, he just really fell off big time. He fell off big time. He seemed, here he looked like he was going to be a good, like, pick and roll. Like, he never really was that efficient of a scorer. But he seemed like he could be a good pick and roll type of guy that can be a decent playmaker for the Pistons. But he just really fell off this year. He really fell off. And he just really is not good. He's just not good not very efficient his playmaking fell out he just was not that good this year Ish Smith played better than him on the stretch so I mean when you're getting outplayed by somebody like that because he never really was that good defensively and uh, there were there were talks about the Pelicans and hold on a second Alright, I'm back. And uh, there were talks about the Pelicans sort of trading for him, but those talks have gone, and rightfully so, they should have gone. And I'm happy that, and uh, like, he's just, Drew Holiday is a way better point guard than Reggie Jackson. So, like, I don't know why that was even a discussion. And so now they have some young pieces. They have some young pieces. Stanley Johnson is a guy that hasn't really shown much for them. He was supposed to be a good two-way player for the Pistons, but he really, I mean, he got less minutes this year. 
but like he really hasn't shown much now look he's only 20 years old all right we still got to give him some time he's only 20 years old so we'll wait on, we'll wait him out the Pistons shouldn't give up on him yet all right they have a bunch of young pieces on the roster they're just gonna have to make the right draft selection here they're gonna have to make the right draft selection in this upcoming draft I'm not looking at the wrong I'm looking at the wrong screen so get mock drafts here so yeah they're gonna have this pick and see the problem with this pick is that they already have a stretch for like Mark Marcus Morris or I mean I didn't they had like to buy it they had like if I I'm pretty sure let's actually take a look at what they have in terms of coaching yeah they had like Tobias Harris playing the power forward position and Marcus Morris at the three or at least according to 2k but like they don't need another they don't need a Lori Mark Haken in an ideal world they would get somebody like I don't know Josh Jackson I guess <laughs> Josh Jackson or even like in an ideal world actually they would be able to get a guy like Markel Fultz or Aaron Fox or Lonzo Ball they would be able to get a good point guard maybe even Dennis Smith if Dennis Smith were to fall to them that would be great they shouldn't be selecting Frank Talikin off he fall, falls to them because I don't trust him I do not trust him so it's just that whole thing they need to because they don't really need to replace anybody on the wings and they shouldn't really replace Andre Drummond he's only 23 years old like I said but Reggie Jackson is just a guy that just is just not he's just not a good player he's just not that good of a point guard so they need to if they were to get a guy like Markel Fultz or you know this this is obviously not going to happen if it does I will be shocked but like that's really in their best interest getting a point guard in this draft class like that's really their best interest or if they can steal a point guard out of free agency I don't know if that's gonna happen because Detroit has a lot of question marks so I don't know the P the Pistons are in a bit of a rough spot here they had a disappointing season there were talks about them trading for Paul George but like they still, still have some things to do. So now I, even though I did start watching some Pistons games, I didn't pay attention as much. I paid attention mostly to Reggie Jackson and Andre Drummond. I didn't. I mean, look, Contavious Caldwell Pope is a guy that I think he can be a good D and three type of guy, but I haven't really looked into him as much. Now about Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris is a solid he's a really solid player but they really just need to find a guy that they can trust in their offense to run their offense so yeah I mean in terms of contracts I haven't looked at that yet and it's not that good not that good they're paying Reggie Jackson this money he does he does not seem like he's worth it He's worth that money. John Luer, 10 million. I mean, that's just it's just the way that players are being paid nowadays. But Reggie Jackson, I don't think anybody's gonna want to trade for that contract. That bad contract. And Tobias Harris. That's not that bad of a contract for a guy like Tobias Harris. Andre Drummond. Just making sure he was locked up. So yeah, I mean, the Pistons, in an ideal world, a guy like Dennis Smith would fall to them. In a perfect world, a guy like Markel Fultz would fall to them, or Alonzo Ball. But, like, they just really need to find somebody that they can trust with the offense. So, that's where I think that the Pistons should go from here. Upgrade their point guard spot. And so that'll do it for this edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. Next team we'll be taking a look at will be the... Denver Nuggets. So I will see you then.